so let's get ready for some photos. My hair is already done. I already have my base of makeup on because I just wanted to get that done before starting to, to vlog this morning. I always start and go in with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Silk Primer just because I really like the way it makes my skin feel and like glowy and it's just really, really nice. Then I go in after that with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4 Medium just to give my skin like a healthy-ish glow. And then for what I do for foundation is I always use the Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani foundation in the shade six. I feel like this just always gives good coverage to my skin, but you can see my natural skin popping through, which I really like. So now onto concealer, Hourglass concealer, the Vanish concealer. So I'm using the shade Sepia. I don't even know if that's a number or what, but I just kind of go in under my eyes. And I am really excited for today. I'm. I'm not nervous, like nervous is the wrong word. I'm just like really hopeful that they come out good. And I know that they will because my friend that's doing them, Haley, like we work together and she's just like an absolutely incredible photographer. I'll throw her Instagram handle and her photography business down below, but she just does such like amazing work. And I'm just really, really excited for her to take such like beautiful photos. So. Now we need to blend. I also feel like the other thing that's exciting today is that we're making a day of it. So as you all saw from my last vlog, you know that Corey and I are moving in January. So if you haven't seen that vlog and you're just stumbling upon this one, it's where I announced my engagement and it's where I announced that Corey and I are moving. So since Corey and I are moving and we're moving out of the city in January, I really wanted to get these photos done before we moved. And Haley, also my friend that's doing our photos that has a photography business, is actually moving to Pittsburgh. So she's moving in like two weeks and moving her photography business down to Pittsburgh as well. Concealer is on. Yes, I know I look super orange and crazy. The lighting in here is absolutely absurd when I go into natural lighting it's gonna look so different so please please bear with me but I always take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder so we are making a full day out of the day today so this makeup needs to stay so I am doing a little bit more of like full glammy kind of makeup because we are actually going to be touring two venues we're going to lunch and we're doing what Haley calls a split shoot so we are meeting early early this morning to do sunrise photos and then we'll part ways and then for the remainder of our shoot we'll meet again together at like five o'clock and finish the shoot and do sunset photos in the city, heart of the city. So very excited, but it just means that I need to do as full and of baked glam as possible because I need this makeup to last me literally over 12 hours. And right now it is close to 6 a.m. because we woke up at 4.30 just to like get up, snooze the alarm a few times. Now I'm gonna take my Dibs by Courtney Shields Duo Stick. This is a contour stick. You can draw it right on, I have done that multitude of times but i think for today just so i can have a little bit more control over the product so i don't need to like fight with it what i do is i like get a little bit up in the brush which i already did and then i just like basically pat in and contour where i would put my bronzer now this is a cream bronzer i always on any day no matter full glam or not i always tend to put this on first, I will put some powder bronzer on top. I almost feel like I use this as the adhesive or the glue to warm up my face. And then I go over it with a bronzer that I like. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a deeper blush today. So I do have three of these sticks because I just absolutely love them. I'm gonna go in today with the shade 5.5. Love this blush shade, it's like purpley. So we're gonna just go in right on the face. You'll see it in the sunlight, but this, oh. If you do not own the Dibs sticks, there is not a single makeup product that I love more than this. I bought this over a year ago. I have never went to something else, ever. And this was my first ever cream product. So highly, highly recommend. Then I always go in with, like I said before, my just powder bronzer. Take a little bit on here and just kind of like go in again highlighting some of those points because it's a little bit like i said longer of a day so i want it to stay now for the eyes i do no eyeshadow not very good at it so i literally just take the bronzer a little bit on a fluffy brush and just get right up right up in this crease area of my eye see i don't look as crazy now that my lips are not literally covered making me look like a mummy 
So I am a huge proponent in just very quick brows because I actually don't have sparse eyebrows. I'm very lucky, thanks mom, for the not sparse eyebrows or dad. Then I take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and just swipe it through. This just makes your brows not move. It's not gonna keep them, it's not gonna give you the fluffy look. I would recommend probably a different brow product, like maybe the Brow Freeze or something different. This is really just to keep them in shellac place. It's like hairspray for your eyebrows. Lastly is mascara. So this is something that I have done for the last year now, which I will never go without. It is the Lancome Boost. So it's like an eyelash primer. And then I take the Lancome Idol Lash because I just feel like it's more for fanning out the eyelash than just giving it like a really nice, pretty effect. Who do I think I am doing my eyelashes in there? There is not a chance. Then, because you always get a little bit of mascara on your upper eyelid, if you don't, good for you, but I do. So I just take a fluffy brush that has a little bit of either setting powder or some of that bronzer and just kind of dust it away because I feel like what I don't wanna do is wipe it off, like wipe my makeup off. Makeup is done. Now it's time to get dressed and my hair is done. It's falling very nicely, so let's go and get dressed for engagement photos. So we have just made it to Starbucks, obviously in different lighting. I feel like my makeup looks drastically, drastically different, but- My makeup looks great. Yeah, Corey's makeup looks great, but we are at Starbucks on Boylston Street, like right outside of me right here is the garden. Haley, our photographer, is parking her car now, and she said like, the lighting is perfect, I'm so excited. Got my hat, scarf, we've got a bag, for me, we've got Corey, the fiance, two iced coffees, one for Haley and one for Corey, and we're very excited. So I'll check in with all of you when Haley gets here, but it is looking to be a beautiful morning in the city, so I'm so excited. And I'm happy with how my makeup came out. Like I said in the, in the bathroom we were getting ready this morning, I did not think that it looked great in the bathroom because it was like bright, bright yellow. Okay, sneak peek, we're getting started. There's Haley, my BFF photographer, like I said to you. I will put her thing linked down below. I was just, I was, <laughs> she's like, wait, is she actually vlogging? So Haley basically took us to the beautiful park, which is in Boston, and then Right behind us we have some buildings, that's a Prudential Center, and this is kind of where we're starting this morning. Let me tell you, it is a little chilly, and I'm not wearing this black coat for the photos. I'm taking it off, but I am so excited. I feel like the photos are just gonna come out so good. This is just stop one, so after we get the photos in a few weeks or so, I'll make sure to like insert them in a vlog or a check-in or something so you can see them all because I truly think they're gonna come out so beautiful, but I'm feeling really good, Corey's feeling really good. Him and Haley are getting set up over there and now it's time to take some pictures. All right, check-in, 8 a.m. Haley is absolutely cruising. Also, I don't know if I even, you already know Corey, but this is Haley, <laughs> my absolutely amazing photographer. She's like, she's fantastic. We're going to go towards like the Boylston, like city-esque street vibes era. Also, Boylston look at street. Corey in his cute little, yeah, Boylston street. I'm a street. big fan of this jacket. Yeah, Corey's loving his jacket, H&M. I can also have everything that we wore in our engagement shoot linked below, but we're now ready for some more photos. Basically, Haley tells us to drop and that's exactly what we do we drop we take photos and then i pick up the camera again so on to the next this looks, looks like our backdrop as of right now and it's just like amazing also you know the hat is nice but like sometimes when i'm vlogging and it looks like that you all saw this in like a boston week in my life vlog but just crazy so time for some more photos but quick check-in outfit change and a lip change black turtleneck jacket new Abercrombie jeans and some black boots corey is in a sweater the pack mule and Haley has my scarf. So we've now changed. We've made it onto where are we? How is it that you got nothing to carry? <laughs> because I have my hat. Excuse me. We are now walking onto I think it's Boylston Street to take the remainder of these photos, like in this outfit. So little outfit change, a little bit more casual. We are actually gonna get like really dressed up tonight. So I'm super excited for that. And right now we're heading, like I said before, to Boylston Street. We've made it to where are we? The Boston Public Library. Made it to the Boston Public Library. We just crossed the street. And now we're gonna take some really cool photos in front of like the library. I don't know Haley's vision, but she keeps finding these little pockets of the city with no scaffolding, which if you've been to Boston, that just doesn't exist. For so we're just, we're having a good time. My makeup is lasting, so just so everyone knows, this is our, let's see, it's like 9, 9.15, and my makeup still looks fresh and brand new. So 
let's take some photos at the library. Fiance, photographer, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. We have just finished up our morning shoot. So I actually don't even know if I shared this before, but we were actually doing something that Haley recommended, which is called a split shoot. So basically what that means is we're shooting now, which is in the morning, we did sunrise, and now we'll meet again at 4.35 o'clock and do sunset. So very excited about that. Changed into my sneakers because we're gonna be doing some walking today. Corey has his sneakers as well. So we are actually in between two train stations right now. We have a tour at 11.30 at a potential engagement party location. So we are going to go towards that area instead. That way we're close to that area also. So sorry for this awkward lighting. Like it's just the sun's on that side so you know what I'll hold you sideways but we are headed in that direction now so Corey's idea so we're gonna hop on the train and I think we're gonna look for like maybe a coffee shop we have a lunch reservation today at a place called row 34 which is a really good seafood place in the city in the seaport so we're excited we're gonna take you along and with that we've had a lovely morning oh yeah Corey just pointed something out Corey what'd you just realize about this spot so when Brianna and I met that Sunday, the Patriots won the Super Bowl, and then that Tuesday, they had the Super Bowl parade in Boston, and Brianna and I met up, and we stood right over here, and I was <laughs> like, wait a minute, this is where we stood for the Pets Parade, which was the basically second time our we first, saw each other. Yeah, which is basically our basically first, our first date. date. What a first date. First date. So, we basically were like, this is, was the parade route down the street, and we stood right there, which is just amazing at how far we've come, baby. Knuckle punch. Ooh. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Don't, don't, don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> I'll insert like on the screen. I just oh sorry, I was trying to hold was your like, hand. Was like... I will insert on the screen like two of our photos, like a collage of our first photo on the street and our now photo of us engaged on the street. I'm gonna spend forever together five and a half years later. So it was just amazing. So now we're headed to the seaport, but oh, yeah. we're having such an incredible day. This is definitely like a one of the core moment days. Yes. Like I just want to take a mental picture. Oh, you blinked. Oh, I did? <laughs> One more. So we have made it to the Envoy Hotel in Boston. That's actually what we're touring today. And we're looking for more like engagement party venue right now. We're not actually looking at like a wedding wedding mm -hmm. venue. I think some of the reasons why specifically we were looking here is if we were gonna have an engagement party in Boston, we know that everyone, majority of our family and friends will have to travel. So the Envoy is a hotel, so they can get rooms right within the venue. It's in the seaport, it's across the street from parking, and there's like great restaurants and shopping in this area. So if somebody oh, yeah. wanted to make a weekend out of it or do something larger at this said Envoy Hotel, they could, they could extend it a night and it would be, you know, a little treat to them or whatever it might be. So it is now 1120, our appointment like starts, our check-in is at 1130, but we're gonna get up now and check in and we'll take you along on everything that we're looking at because I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. It's our first ever place. First ever. Looking. I'm engaged to party venue. sitting down and having a drink. I'll show you my drink in a second, but our absolutely incredible, incredible, incredible human that we're working with, her name's Megan. She is so beyond lovely. And she mentioned that her mom watches our vlogs and that she was so shocked that she was even meeting me in person. And we sent a selfie to her mom. So if you're Megan's mom, hi, so Hello, excited Megan's that mom. you're a part of the channel. Corey Megan's said, mom. shout out Megan's mom. But that was like such a surreal pinchy moment. This is such a beautiful corner of the internet. But this is the view behind us. We're currently having drinks. We sat down with Megan and we did just a ton of like what we'd want to do for like appetizers, maybe a food kind of bars. She, she's gonna write us up like a big pricing, but we ended up getting two drinks as potential signature cocktails. I ended up going with the what was it? The <laughs> strawberry. It I covered your face. I covered my face. I, it's a it's a it's a skill. I don't know. I'm how a you, professional. Do you practice at night when I'm sleeping? Just. Uh. 
Oh. Beep. So I ended up getting the strawberry fields, which was, I think it was like sparkling water, strawberry, lemon. I mean, I think it was Grey Goose strawberry. Literally tastes like a strawberry refresher from and Starbucks. And I got a Don't Kill the Bear. And it comes actually in a fun little honey bear, honey bear jar. So like you pour in little fun, yeah. fun little task you have. And, and it what was, was in it? Whiskey, tangerine juice, honey, and bitters, I believe. Yeah. Like it's absolutely fabulous. So we're having just an absolutely incredible time. The drink is a 10 out of 10. Right now, I mean, I am really, where I'm excited and like my excitement is the giddiness taking over, is the, the giddiness right is through now, the yeah. roof. I also am just so, so impressed with how I feel like we've been treated. They, you know, they said our drinks were on the house. Megan met me, you know, right upstairs. She was just so kind. Everyone here has been so kind. I think as of right now, I'm at like a nine out of 10. I don't want to say 10 out of 10, only because I feel like that would just make it too real. I think the only thing that makes me nervous about this destination is we are outside. It's fully outdoor. I so, honestly thought you were about to drop your camera right there. So, I didn't know what you were doing. So if it rains, we would be underneath a covered space, but like, it would, it would completely throw off, I think, what we were originally viewing. But with that being said, we're going to enjoy the next 20, 25 minutes that we have here before we actually end up heading out to row 34, which is actually where we're gonna be eating lunch today and getting some lobster rolls and clam chowder. The other thing I loved about this place, the Envoy Hotel, was that she said that the chef here has won Chopped twice. Twice! Which is me and Corey's favorite show, that's amazing. And that we can almost like fully customize a menu. Yeah! Which is just, they're so amazing. I have been absolutely blown away with the service, how kind she was, how sweet she was. She was very candid. With that being said, we will see you at lunch. We have made it to row 34. I ended up getting three shrimp cocktail. You know I'm the shrimp cocktail connoisseur and we're in New England. And Corey got, how many oysters, honey? Four? I got four oysters. Four oysters. Do you know what kinds you got or? I got four, I got two. Island Creek that are local to Duxbury, Mass. Yep. And then I got two swells, which are from Hampton Harbor, New Hampshire. Delicious. Which one are you trying so right now? So the first one I'm trying now is the swell. Nice. And I put a little horseradish sauce on it and some lemon juice. Very delicious. Corey loves oysters. They're like his favorite thing in the world. Good? That's a little too good. Oh. Is that a bad thing? Oh. <laughs> Good? That, like melted in your mouth? No, granted, people. These are just raw, raw shucked oysters opened up. Yeah. That melted beautifully in the mouth, has a nice saltiness to it, not chewy at all. And the horseradish combination did it wonders. Love that. All right, people, swell Hampton Harbor, New Hampshire. Swell Hampton Harbor. So here is also just so that you're all aware, our beautiful view from lunch of course boston's got some cranes and construction that's just what happens name a city that doesn't yeah right i like horseradish i know horseradish is nice <laughs> the signature we confirmed it shrimp cocktail is such an underrated enjoyment in this world i feel like people it, forget at how refreshing and delicious a good cold cooked shrimp can be. it's so simple it's a little too simple but it just it's but so it's good Yes. So we're going to enjoy our appetizer number one. We're really just having such a beautiful day today. So what did you describe it as a core memory day? It's a core memory day. Like I feel like I'm going to look back on this day now forever as just so much joy, so much happiness. And like, this is our first day really starting the engagement planning, the wedding planning. And it just feels really good. Flush the really bling. Happy. <laughs> we got our appetizer here. We got some New England clam chowder with a beautiful little bread crostini thing, which has some heavy sea salt on it, which I'm extremely excited about. Our favorite, most beautiful Brianna is about to dig in. Tell us what you feel. Corey, you can tell that Corey's having a great day because he's like over hyper, like, you know what I mean? New England through and through, baby. New England through and through. He's having a great day with his little seafood and his oysters and our photos and everything, so let's give this a try. The camera loves me. Wait, really? Is that that good? I think it's probably one of the best thing chowders I've ever Oh, snap. All right, everyone, we are back with our lunch. I got the beer battered fish and chips, so we got a beautifully crusted looking fish, and I see some flakes of sea salt on there. I already sprinkled my lemon juice on there, some fries, I want to say tartar sauce, and some slaw. Brianna, she is missing, because she had to go to a little girl's room. She got the fish tacos, which are absolutely delightful. So once Brianna returns, we will do our taste test. Oh my god, I miss you so much. 
I'm back. <laughs> All right, Brianna, so you got the fish tacos. I did. Try it. Mmm. Good? Crispy on the outside. Fluffy, fluffy on the inside. That's how my fish is in my tacos. Delicious. So, since have changed, after lunch we ended up going to the Liberty, which we ended up also really liking, but we didn't take any footage because we weren't like super happy with the rooms, but we enjoyed the like top level floor, so we just have to kind of think about if we want to do that. But so far, Envoy is still our number one, which we absolutely loved. But we did an outfit change. We're back taking our sunset shoot. Corey is behind me again with Haley. I'll link Haley Clegg's photography business down below. She's incredible. She's amazing or just give her a follow to support her because she's my bestie and she's just so, so incredible. Ended up changing, so red lip, black dress, and some heels. So this is the shoot that I'm most excited for because I feel like it's the most dressy and fun. Corey is in his black turtleneck jeans and Alexander McQueen's to give him a little bit of height because I have some pretty high heels on. But now we are ready to start our last and final sad face photo shoot of our engagement photos. So we've made it home. Corey's nice and comfy. We ended up getting some takeout because I had a really upset stomach today. We are catching up on the challenge. I ended up just getting like fried rice and some miso soup because I was not feeling good. And I'm in my bathrobe, my like winter snuggly pajamas and we're just gonna relax on the couch for the rest of the night. But the day was such a core memory day. It was, it was so beautiful, it was, it was such a blast. It was just everything I could have dreamed of. Again, I'm so excited to share with all of you the photos. They're gonna come out so beautiful, so incredible. Haley just did such a phenomenal job. I felt like a superstar. I felt so beautiful, like she just did amazing. So thanks for spending the day with us and doing our first little bit of wedding engagement stuff, which is really fun, but now it is time to have some fried rice miso soup watch the challenge and just relax and snuggle up with each other at seven o'clock. I'm gonna go to bed early because I was not feeling good because my stomach was acting up this afternoon, but make sure to subscribe, hang around. This is gonna be a lot of fun over the next year, planning a wedding, an engagement party, a lot of fun things to come. So I will see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.